Man, I just finished playing The Legend of Zelda, A Link's, I said A Link's Awakening. Lord, this shit'll be hard as fuck to do recording, man. I'm not the guy for that. I'm straight the live stream guy. But I want to be also known for making the videos too, and that's what I want to bring to you guys. Raw and uncut if possible, I don't know. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. I beat Link's Awakening, and I love that fucking game. That game was fun all the way from the beginning to the end, and yes, some way through. A lot, well, I ain't gonna say a lot of the ways through. The majority of the ways through, I did use a god, and it was a certain god I used that I liked a lot too, and I thought that shit was like well put together. Made me want to go and play other Zelda games just to use the god. But anyway, back at what I was talking about again. Um, yeah, I beat the fuck out that game. I love that game all the way throughout. Got the game back in 93. I don't know if I got it in 93. I think it was for around the time of 93. But I got it for a Christmas. A Christmas present. Probably was five years old back then. I don't even know. But I remember playing Link's Awakening. And remember when I didn't know what the fuck to do. I remember the dude was like, you would go inside the um, forest and just get lost. Or the guy went, the little dude that gave you the shit in the beginning of the game, he wouldn't let you through. And I never understood none of that back then. But what I do remember back then playing that game is um, when I would like, I don't know, walk around and cut the um, bushes. Is that one part in the game in the beginning where you walk out and they got all them rows of bushes? I remember doing that and cutting the grass down and stuff like that. I think going through the damn, um, going through the damn wood, the wooded area, trying to figure out what to do through there, and then walking around to that little witch, that little witch house. I didn't even know back then that you had to give her the mushroom. I should have known that shit, but you know, maybe today. Of course, I did actually figure that shit out, but today's time I would have and did. Back then, I didn't know any better. And that was like that with all the Zelda games. That was um, the um, old school version, even with the one on the Super Nintendo when I got that too. That one was the same way for me. But anyway, yeah, Link's Awakening. <clears throat> Dope as hell. Just found out they was making a, um, a remix, a remake of the game. While I was just playing this game, I was like, damn, they, play, they making a remake. Should I even continue to play it? But I was like, hell, fuck it. I'm going to just play it because it brought back so many memories. Old school memories. Back on the Game Boy. Dope. So anyway, I recorded this video this long. And I probably will do a little editing in and out. But I always said I wanted to record and do something like this. So I'm going to just do this and see how it play out, man. Fuck it. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. I'm a, um, I don't know if I get a little feedback from this. I'm going to try to keep doing this. I'm going to try to keep making little videos because I don't think this could be that hard. Edit it up a little bit. Make it look nice and neat with um whatever's playing in the background while I'm doing this and shit. And then this was, that's what it'll be. Rubra22 making the videos, man. So, to everyone who stood by stood by i be stuttering like hell i be i swear i'm gonna mess my words up when i'm talking but anyway for those of you who watch this whole video and listen to me ramble on about link's awakening or at least my story as a child playing link's awakening hit the like button please hit that like button and i appreciate it thank you take care have a blessed day root bright 22 is out